and welcome one and all back to the Valley in Shade. You're here with me, One Man Jack, and today we got something special for you. Today we're gonna show you how to build and play as the Butcher in Heroes of the Storm. Now, I know I'm a League of Legends junkie, I'll admit it, but damn, I have been playing a lot of Heroes of the Storm lately, ever since they did, like, their huge Heroes of the Storm 2.0 whatever thing that they got going on. I've, uh, I started playing the game again, and man, do I have to say, this game's some fun. Especially this piece of shit. Yeah, the Butcher. He, uh, man. If you know League of Legends, imagine if Vagar was a melee brawler. It's effectively what the Butcher is. So you've got his passive skill, which is what you care about. That's fresh meat. When minions die, they drop meat. When heroes die, they drop meat. You pick up meat. Each piece of meat gives you an extra attack damage. Now, you start off with a base attack of 147, and you can collect up to 125 pieces of meat. So you can pretty much double your attack damage um, just by collecting meat. And even better, when you cap it out at 125 pieces of meat, you get an extra 100 attack damage and 25% attack speed. So your basic attacks are going to hit like a freight train made entirely of other smaller freight trains. Ah, starting the game off good with a nice early kill. And the other thing, the skill I got down here, Abattoir. Usually you, you lose 10 meat on death. This makes it so you only lose 5 meat on death, which means you can get to maximum meat quicker. And also, this skill makes it so that when you cap out at 125 meat, heroes will keep dropping meat, and this bonus meat can stack infinitely. You can effectively have infinite attack damage as long as you keep killing people, which is beautiful. So, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna let this go out. I believe the camera follows where I had my camera during the game. Oh wow, that is that is some frame rate stuttering. Wow, how is it harder to watch a movie than it is to play the game? The frame rate didn't drop like this when I was playing. I swear. So, anyways, we had a little bit of a miscommunication here. I wanted to kill uh, Rexar. Nova wanted to kill Sylvanas. Nova succeeded. I did not. Oh, wait, just kidding. Come here. Come here, piece of shit. Yeah, ah, yep. Yeah. Wait for it, wait for it. Uh, here we go. Okay, yeah. Alright, dead. Meat. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, uh, the first half of this game is not gonna be very impressive. In fact, I'm probably gonna cut out a huge chunk of it, because starting right about here, the entire team just sucks. Like, we just lose everything from here until about halfway through, and it takes a little while for me to remember that the Butcher can't actually do anything until he gets maximum meat. So, uh, yeah, prepare prepare for a visual aid on how to not play Butcher. Second talent I like to get, Unrelenting Pursuit. It reduces the cooldown of your charge stun, but oh yeah, the rest of his abilities. Uh, you got the meat, you got your basic attack, your Q is an area of effect skill shot slow that does a little bit of damage, it slows enemies, and also refreshes your auto attack timer so you get the instant next basic attack. Your E is a point and click stun with a massive range where you accelerate towards the target for a good amount of time and if you hit them they're stunned for a second. You can cover a lot of ground with this onslaught. It's uh it's pretty 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 annoying. And the uh, level 4 talent I took reduces the cooldown by a third if you hit someone with it. So, that's that's excellent. Feels like Flail Axe and Cheap Shot, I just don't feel like those are important. Because you're not going to care about the damage from Hamstring, and the length of Hamstring can be handy, but Unrelenting Pursuit's better. The most important part, though is your W, Butcher's Brand. Deal a pitifully small amount of damage to someone and brand them for 4 seconds. Your basic attacks against the target heal for 75% of damage done. And then, basic attacks against branded heroes heal for double? Question mark? And extend the duration of the brand by 0.5 seconds. I don't, that, so that second paragraph, I've never fully understood it. I believe that heals for double applies to teammates who attack the branded target, but I, uh, I really, I really don't know. 
I really don't know exactly how that does. All I know is that if you basic attack branded targets, you heal for a shit ton. Even more so when you get Insatiable Blade. Bumps that healing from 75% up to 100% of physical damage level. That means you will heal for exactly as much damage as you deal. And when you collect meat, you're gonna deal a lot of fucking damage. This is more of me failing, by the way. Uh, I cannot 1v2 at this point. I make a pretty good showing of it there, but my team's fucking around down here. Can I, can I move the camera? I cannot. My team, Val is fucking around down there, Kerrigan's fucking around down there, while um, Sergeant Hammer the Siege Tank is just destroying our mid fort. Yeah, that's not very good. I do the stupid thing and try to fight them instead of farming meat. Like, Butcher, he is not good until you get maximum meat. I don't care what you do, I don't care how you play him, I don't care who you're fighting against. Unless you're fighting in a 1v1 situation against another melee character, he is only good once you get maximum meat. Because again, that is 225 damage from the passive and 25% attack speed. And let's remember, right now I have a base attack of 200. So again, getting maximum meat would double my attack damage and give attack speed. So that's a that's pretty important. Okay, I'm, yeah, about here is when I realize, yeah, I need meat. I need meat. So I um, yeah, I just decide, you know what? Fuck it. Let my teammates do whatever. I'm gonna get me some meat. So I had 17 meat. That's not very enough. That's not that's not a, that's not nearly enough. We're just gonna we're just gonna speed up a little bit. We're just gonna speed up the farming a little bit. This is just me farming you. Temples aren't happening not at this level. Nope, not at this meat is what you meant to say. Because meat matters way more than level. Like did I? Okay, back to normal. I have no idea actually how to control camera here. Oh, I can I can do that. Um. Hmm. Maybe I just need to hold down spacebar, keep the camera centered on me. Okay, more meat farming. Siege mid a little bit. What's that? My teammates are doing stuff? Should I care? No? Okay, more meat. Hmm. Notification text! Hero name! What was that? Uh, Blizzard? I found a bug. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, at this point, my team, not doing very well. Me, not doing very well, but I've got 43 meat now. Again, that's 43 free attack damage. Hmm. I seem to have fucked up the camera. How do I fix this? How do I do anything here? So, um, I don't know, maybe if I just leave the camera alone for a while, it'll go back to following me automatically. I don't know. So anyways, I've got some meat I've got some meat now. That means we can fight. You're under turret? That's a bad Oh wait, no, that was the suspect person. Hey! Sergeant Hammer! I heard that your tank is made of meat! No, it's not? Okay. Right. Okay, I can move I can move the map with arrow keys. Okay, that's better. So yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna keep fast forwarding because I see <gasps> Look at all that meat! Gotta get the meat. Yeah. Okay, so team's fighting for Temple, I see, hey, Rhaegar. Now here's the important part, Rhaegar has a bear named Mishka. If you kill Rhaegar, it kills Mishka too, and they both drop five meat. So killing Rhaegar is worth double meat. So uh, about here I learn that and I think, hmm, I should focus him. So I got 78 meat, and thinking, hmm, that eh, doesn't look like the best fight. But I drop the Butcher's Brand on him, which means I get rad healing. Bop, bop, bop. I'm not at maximum meat, but I've got enough meat to fight. Here I get a lucky guess, and my Q falls exactly on the one that I needed to kill. The Q wipes out the clones, and then my basic tech kills the rest. So I've got 88 meat now, and I'm feeling juicy. My heroic skill, now, I actually did something I don't normally do. Usually, as the Butcher, you want Lamb to the Slaughter, which, that'll drop a hitching post that will prevent enemy champions from running away, which is excellent, 
once you have maximum meat, you can use that to hold people down and then cut them up into meat. And then consume the meat. But I wasn't at maximum meat, and I was having a problem just winning fights. Keeping them from running away wasn't important. So I took Furnace Blast, which basically just drops a massive area of effect bomb around the butcher after he, um, after three seconds. So that's, that's fun. Uh, yeah. Cleaver, I took Cleaver, which gives your attacks area of effect damage, because that's great fun. <gasps> Rexar, give me your meat! There you go, ten free meat. It's just that easy. Yeah, playing against playing against Rexar is the single thing any butcher wants to do. So I'm almost to max meat right now, and I've been doing I've I've caught myself back up. I was failing horribly. I am now doing all right. You have died. What was that? Man, this uh this combat text is just completely in the wrong spot. So you'll see a theme with my talents. We've got buff basic attack, charge, so I can get to them in basic attack, buff basic attack, buff basic attack, buff basic attack, blood frenzy. Basic attacks against heroes grant more attack speed and movement speed. So let's remember. I get... Oh yeah, by the way, Butcher's uh, Insatiable Blade also gives you move speed when you're running towards um, branded targets. So I've got a Q for a slow, one, two different move speed effects, and when I hit 20, I'm going to get Nexus Blades, which is a second slow. So right about here, I'm like, alright, I've got maximum meat, let's put my carry pants on. Come here, Hammer! I thirst for your meat! Your tank, tank is clearly made of meat. Woo! And that's why I took the cooldown on charge, because you need it. Alright. She's dead? I hear there's more meat up here. Oh yes, there is! Hello, meat! Oh, let meat, meat's trying to run- Nah, can't let that happen. Come here, meat. It was you. I saw which one it was before he used his clones, and I'm like, meat. You're gonna be hearing the word meat a whole lot. It's right here. Team's fighting? I'm gonna hurt. I don't know if I wanna go back in. Oh, hey, look, Rhaegar. I get double meat for Rhaegar. Hell yes, I'm going in on that. Get the meat. Get the meat. Okay, now to fight this guy. And this guy is just a tank, which means he has absolutely no hope of stopping me. And I managed to keep Johanna alive, too. And get more meat. I've now got 155 meat, which means I've got 255 attack damage. That is literally doubling my attack damage because meat. Meat. Mm, meat. And so as, as you might see, 500's a lot. That's enough to kill me in 8 hits, and Butcher attacks pretty freaking fast. Yeah, Butcher pretty good. So, uh, we doing alright, maybe we can turn this, maybe things are gonna work out. Let's fast forward and see if that happens. Going to the temple! Oh, hey look! Hello there, Sergeant Hammer! I need your meat, for reasons. No? Okay. Maybe I'll just fight these guys. No, I'm just gonna I need the meat. That meat. That meat. I died. Oh well. I, I died. I died for good meat. And that's the good thing about getting maximum meat. After you get maximum meat, you no longer lose meat on death. Which means this bonus meat stacks up infinitely. At this point, I'm like, is that one tank really gonna kill them? Really? No? Okay. Good. It was close, but they made it. I think, I think I said something in the chat a while back. Like, there were two people who said, we can get this solo, and I'm like, not if they can test it. And then I charge in, there's a big-ass fight, and we win. Two for five. And an altar. That is a new temple. That is a damn good fight. Let's speed up again until I'm alive, because not much happens when I'm not alive. My temple's power. Yeah. Choose a temple. So things, things are going all right. Maybe we can turn this. We're ahead. Somehow. Not for long. Things are going to go wrong in a hurry here. Oh yeah, as I mentioned, ma uh, level 20 talent, Nexus Blades. 20% extra free damage, and basic attack slow enemies. So, no one's going to escape me now. Ever. And here's the thing where, like, af after you get full build and you get your Nexus Blades... Lands to the slaughter kind of stops being useful because the slow from your Q and from Nexus Blades and the movement speed from your W and from Blood Friends is like no one's going to escape anyway. But that said, 
Land of the Slaughter is really, really useful for helping secure early game kills, but I'm kind of glad I took Furnace Blast, because it turns out being really, really useful. Now, right here, let's pause this for a moment, right here is where everything goes wrong. Let's go examine. Down here, we've got two champ, we got one champ, I'm sorry, two champions, and four siege golems that are about to knock down our keep, which is basically a nexus, I'm sorry, which is basically an inhibitor that doesn't respond. I'm like, hey guys, well, there's three of us, let's go stop them. So I charge ahead, and then they, without saying anything, just kind of stop and fight the boss instead. And I don't notice that. I think they're right behind me, like, all right, we're going to do this. Meat! Nope. Um... Well, that's that. Hey, where'd, where'd those people go? They're... Oh, they're fighting boss. The, the tank and the assassin are fighting boss. Admittedly, they do a good job. I'm like, what the hell? What are you guys doing? They just took the keep. They're like, yeah, I don't even know. We're winning somehow. No, no, you're not. No, you're not. If they had, if they had told me they were going to do boss, I could have helped them. We could have taken it. It would have been good. But they didn't. And I died in vain, and things start going wrong here. We got what? We got North Keep then? Man, I was so focused on everything else, I didn't even notice that the, um, who was that that's about to die right here? I was Kerrigan! Yeah, Kerrigan was an all-star that game. So Kerrigan got the keep, luckily, but... They shoved our bottom keep, got a temple to get the middle keep, and our team putting forth a valiant effort for it, but uh, I'm pretty sure I remember this not ending well for them. Yep. Oh no, Johanna. Johanna kinda won a little bit. Can't 1v2 though. Especially not against Samuro. This guy? This, uh, th this, this ninja samurai guy who can make clones of himself? Yeah, fuck him. He's so annoying. So, they got those, uh, they got those temples. And those temples are about to knock down this keep. And in almost any other match, this is GG right here. They now have super minion catapults marching down every single lane. Let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit until the next thing happens. Nova, does Nova actually scare them off that temple? Well, yeah, that's what happened. So I think Nova does herself a grand skill, and um, she scares them off the temple at the very least. Oh yeah, she got that too. Meanwhile, oh wait, F. I'm doing some meek things down here. Hold on, let's back up a little bit. Okay, so right about here, I respawn, and I'm thinking, all right, so that was a bad turn. We have all of our keeps down. In any other match, this would be game over. Like, it's very difficult. You can't come back from having all your keeps down. It's too hard to contest map objectives and also protect your base from the endless flood of minions. But this isn't just any match. I'm playing the Butcher. So I think, all right, we're just going to go this way. And I, I thought I was going to clear this out and then go take the boss. Uh-oh, someone else got the boss. That's not good for me, is it? Hmm. Oh, he forgot to do his clones, so I'm just gonna turn him into meat. That's one kill, secured by Furnace Blast. And, oh, yeah, I died there. But I got I got a kill and a bear, and I'm like, alright team, this is it. You guys need to turn the boss and buy enough time for me to respawn again. Because if you don't, I mean, there's not much you can do. Again, usually this is game over, but for some reason... The enemy team doesn't shove with the boss, I guess. With only three people against four, they decided to wait. Oh yeah, that's what happened. They went to go fight over the temple, which I thought, oh, that's GG. But as it turns out, this temple doesn't have very much ammunition left. So it's going to expend the last of its salvo. When Nova scared them off the temple earlier, that that gave our fort time to build up a shield. And it survived. I'm like, Temple's gonna finish it. Oh, or not. So we got a got a base at 50 health, no keeps, and an enemy team that is at par with us. But I'm the butcher, 
And I've just been collecting meat. Every kill has made me stronger. So, as always, we're gonna... Like, they're doing some stuff. Mm, nothing really important happens until I'm alive. I mean, I guess teammates might do something. Did they do something over here? I don't know. It's, it looks like not much is gonna happen here. Oh yeah, that's right. So I see I see Nova in trouble. I'm like, get off of my ad carry! And I turn him into meat. I'm thinking, okay, Sergeant Hammer, I'm just gonna walk up to you. Uh-huh, you better run away, piece of shit. Vala, yeah, Vala's, Vala's taking care of some siege camps at Bot. I'm like, hey, there's some dude here. I charged him and he immediately stealthed. Which was a mistake, because it means my charge didn't go on cooldown. Hey, Rexar, you give me double kills. I turn you into me. I turn Samuro into me. With Nova's help. Nova did some good damage. So I'm like, alright. That's some good multi-kill. I am 13 kills, 9 assists, and 7 deaths. I've got hero damage for days. Thinking, alright. So they're gonna, like, the only way we can win this is if we shove a little bit and accomplish something. Those two can hold the fort. I'm gonna clear a few minions, then I'm gonna go help Vala. That's what I'm gonna do. Temples? Hey, those could be handy. Later. Come on, Vala. Let's go do something. I wanna help you? Nope. Sergeant Hammer is set up and ready to fury. And then Vala dies like an idiot for pretty much no reason. Yeah, that, uh, that was, that was a bit of a mistake, Vala. I'm like, hmm, okay. They'll probably be, um... Probably won't expect me to contest the temple. Four keeps down? Who would dream of trying to fight their entire team alone? Oh, hey, it's the Butcher. I'm gonna turn you into meat. Save my charge until after she used her teleport. Turn you into meat. Hey, Sergeant Hammer! Boom! Alright. That swag double kill. And my team? They're, they're fighting over the mid temple. Alright, Kerrigan, you got bot? Okay, I'm gonna go do some good work at mid. Dum de dum. Hey, low person, you can give me some health. Look at how fast my health bar filled up. God, that is ridiculous. Ah, all right. Hey, Rexar, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. We've done this dance plenty of times. Bonk, 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 bonk. Going deep for it. Going deep for it. Just the tip. Ah, gotta get to just the tip of that cue for the kill. Ah, got the meat from Mishka, couldn't get his meat too far away. And because of me intervening and killing two more champions, the, uh, the, my team was able to scare off whoever was left alive. Oh, no one's left alive. I killed all of them. Let's remember, of the five enemy champions, I just killed four of them in quick succession. I will carry this entire damn game! I'm feeling the blood bus. I've got a hundred... How much fucking meat is that? 220 meat. I have over 200 meat! I will carry this! So somehow, because of that multi-kill, we got both temples, we knocked down all of their keeps. I'm like, alright, let's drop some mercs, and then let's shove it. We can win this! I can carry! I am the butcher! I have the meat! And meat is power. I'm probably I'm probably just capping out my mic. Like there's just a white noise of me screeching incoherently. We're like, alright. So they now have the exact same problem that we do. It is very difficult to contest objectives while your base has minions shoving in it. So we're just going to complicate that problem. We're gonna add some minions. Boss? Pff, fucking boss. I'm the butcher. I've got what is I've got 815 attack damage by now. We're just going to chop, chop, chop. Hey, Samuro, Furnace Blast? Hmm. All right. We get the boss. I'm going to go take care of Samuro now. All righty. So I'm hurt. Uh, I don't want to risk my killing spree, especially since I'm literally half the damn team at this point. Going to go back heal. They're going to shovel the boss. Look at that. 17, 10, and 7. 81,000 hero damage. That is more than any two people on their team combined, with the exception of maybe Samuro, because he's awesome. So, oh yeah, I find Rexar again. Hey, Rexar. We're gonna, we're gonna stop here again and back it up a little bit, because while I was talking in excitement, I missed a very, very important decision that they made that may or may not pan out. So we took the boss, all keeps are down in the entire game. 
Now, usually when your enemy team has no keeps left and you take boss, that's game over. You take the boss and you shove it into their keep, into their uh, base, and they can't defend against that. The boss is just too powerful that if you take a fair 5v5 and add a boss on one end, that's gonna it's just gonna be the end of it. So oh wait, no, this is this is the wrong spot. I back I backed up too much. We're gonna speed up to where we were. Captain Boss. Samuro made a valiant defense, but he just he just he just couldn't stop it. Okay, so right here. We kill Samuro. Okay, so we have the boss. All keeps on both sides are down. Our base is already at half health, but it's got a regenerative shield, so it's really at two-thirds health. Now, if they try to back into their base and defend 4v5 with us having the boss, that's a guaranteed loss. No way to win that. So their entire team collectively just kind of says, all right, we need to rush their base as fast as possible and hope we can kill it before the boss gets to us. And the only problem is that they arrive in a single file line, and a single file line is something I can deal with. Me, alone, let's go get some more meat. Hey, Rexar! Hey, how you doing, buddy? You're an excellent source of meat. You've got a bear. That's extra, that's double the meat. Free meat? Okay. We're going to ignore the tank and take out the squishy damage dealer. All right. We're going to ignore Hammer because she is far away. We're going to kill him. He's got me. Luckily, my team came back to help me. That's three kills. Time to mount up. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah. I went back. So much meat. I've got 225 fucking meat. We're going to heal up. My team mopped up Vala. My team mopped up Hammer. And then that is the game. I'm going to scroll over so we can watch it. But that is the enemy team is ace. We have two temples up. And we've got the boss and Vala pushing in their base. Ah, that's just that's just that's just how you fucking do it. Mathematically calculated butcher build. Woo, man, we we clutched that so fucking hard. And when I say we, I mean I. And do you want to see a criminal injustice? I didn't get MVP. Somehow, let's remember. I have 20 kills and 10 assists for my 7 deaths. I have 90,000 hero damage. That is more than any two, that's almost more than the next two highest on both teams combined. That is more than any two people on their team combined. That's actually more than three people if you count their three lowest. I have so much damage. I contributed so much experience. I sieged like a fucker, I got all the kills, and yet somehow, Johanna got MVP, only because she didn't die, ever. <sighs> I'm just in flat denial over the fact that I didn't get MVP. But you know what? Everyone in the game recognized who got it. There we go. Everyone voted me as the people's MVP. I, I won in that regard. Oh my god, that game was fucking intense. I am still high off of that victory. I'm recording this just after that game. At fucking midnight, I am just jubilant with energy. Oh man. So that was awesome. Thank you all so much for watching me. I'm sorry, I, I wish I'd had this recorded in real time to have me just screaming. But it was kind of fun to go back and look at the replay and then record over the replay. It's, um... It was fun. And uh, if any of you are wondering, Heroes of the Storm, the Butcher, very good champ to start off with. He's not too complicated. You've got an easy mathematical build. You can copy that right there. I take that build into literally every game. The only thing that changes is whether you get Hitching Post or Furnace Blast, and that just depends on what game. I actually think Furnace Blast really helped because it meant I could always damage Samuro, when he did his clone things, so, um, yeah, that's, that is, that is the best example for how to play the Butcher. Thank you all so much for watching through this with me, but I do hear my curtain calling to me, so I must bid you people adieu until I see you next time right here on The Meat, because 
everything is meat. I went looking for the dark side, but there was only meat. <laughs> uh, Y'all keep it classy.